Yeah, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we are going to be searching for the Murder Mysteries Navy Revolver. As you can see it's being modelled here by my son Joshua. He's joining me in the video today. We are go going on the hunt for clues. Uh, I believe there's five clues to find in total. Then we get a visit from the Los Santos Slasher. We have to kill him and that moves on to certain different um, avenues and uh, hopefully get it all done within a matter of half hour maybe i mean i'm using the buzzer today just so we can get from point a to point b pretty quick and uh it's not really gonna have to take too much muck and a boat and uh, i think the longest part of it is actually going to be getting the slash to spawn because you have to do it at a certain time is that right that's right isn't it? yeah so you have to he only comes out at night so you have to wait until night time for him to actually appear and also the fifth clue which is his van is another one which is quite difficult to find because apparently there's five different locations, five locations that it could that it could spawn in so we have to wait and see <coughs> whereabouts that one is actually going to spawn but the first four that we're going to visit they are always in those locations so if you haven't done this already i know it's been out for quite a while um but i haven't really been on gta for a long time so i'm now jumping back into what i thought quick video uh to ease us back into the gta um, mode is uh, going to be just finding out where these murder mysteries are and tr try and get our hands on this navy revolver. So without any further ado, we are going to jump into the buzzard and we're going to make our way down to the first location. And this one, this revolver is actually really strong. Is it? Yeah, like for police it's two shot and for NPCs it's one shot. Nice. Make it a little bit easier when it comes to getting them 50 kills then. Yeah, you just have to go to like down to the beach or something where there's a lot of people during the day. Yeah. Where did you do yours? <gasps> you cracked in! You're a fuckhead! That's what you are! A fucking shithead! No way did that just happen. It <laughs> is. <laughs> what the hell? I thought, I, I thought I'm flying a little bit low. No way. I, I know I was going to hit it, but I didn't think I was going to blow up. Damn. I literally spawned insane. right next to the explosion as well. Yeah, it's right behind me. I can't believe that just happened. I thought, because usually when you hit something like that, it just bounces you up a little bit, don't it? And you carry yeah. on. <laughs> Blow you up. I knew we oh, should have went with my flying car. Alright guys, so now we are a little bit closer to our destination. You can see on the map, it is just here in the Grand Sonora Desert near the main airstrip. As I zoom out, you can see a little, little bit clearer. It's right near the prison. And I believe when you get to this one, you will find a hand on the floor. Uh, I noticed that there was uh, bin bags on the floor. This way, this ah, there way. we yeah. are. It's over here. Right, yeah, so as you uh, jump out over there by these sort of like rusted up fences or dividers, whatever you want to call right. them, down here by the bin bags. There right it be. Here. Right there. I can't see it, but it's. Investigate yeah. the clue. Oh, I was just turning my flashlight on. Maybe uh -huh. I'll use a different gun. Yes, so just don't aim at no, it. No, or just don't aim at it. There we go. <laughs> or just don't use a gun. Well, see, so yeah, that's the first clue. Grand Sonora Desert is a hand near a couple of bin bags and a tyre and some rusted up divider fences. So pretty simple. Thanks. And that is now one out of five. So we're going to move on to the second location right now. Right, so we are our second destination in Grapeseed. You can see it is just past the um, second landing strip in the Grand Sonora. Just at the back it should be a machete stuck into a barn wall I believe. Yes, so we're just in gonna that barn right there. This barn over here is it? So we're gonna make our yeah. way over here and um, like Joshua said it should be a machete right. that one stuck in the wall. Right. right there. There it be, look at that I can see it already. We got those run over, there it is stuck in the wall and investigate that clue. Wonderful. And that is clues investigated. Two out of five. So, and we get another five grand. So we get five grand for every clue that we find as well. And if there's five clues. A few moments later. I had to think about that. That's an extra 25 grand. So we're getting 25 grand for finding all the clues. 50 grand. 50, yeah, 50 grand for finding, uh, for finding a revolver. And then 200 grand for um, getting the 50 kills. So you're looking at quite a big so chunk of money just for just for a small part of your time. Yeah, man. It's worth doing. 100%. So now we're going to move on to location number three. 
Right, so here we go guys. Location number three is a great chapelle or chapelle, something like that. You know, you, you say it how you say it, but uh, it is just here in, it's pretty much in the center of the map. And as you can also see, it is in an enemy um, yeah. hideout kind of thing. So you might have to contend with some enemy NPCs, which may That's or may cool. not be a hassle for you. But um, what we're gonna have to do is run into here to try and avoid the enemy NPCs and there should be some writing on the wall and it on Wait, the right. side well on the wall I say it's on the side of a building uh, uh, right there there it is look at that on the brick building Joshua is now shooting oh. his gun to alert the enemies um, no doubt yes sir <laughs> yes sir so as you come over right, come you can see it says can you find me pretty simple hillbilly. pretty easy we'll go exit that and now we've spots. got Clues investigated, okay, 3 out of 5, and Joshua is killing people. Right guys, so now you can see we are at location number 4, Palito Forest. As you can see on the map, it is right at the top, on the left hand side. And as we come out of the map menu, it is near these cabins. And we're looking for a bloody handprint on a door. There, that door. That door over there? Yeah, that one right there. There it be. Nice one. Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. And this is the fourth clue. After this, after we've investigated this one, we need to wait for... Um, is it? Do we wait for a notification or not? Or do we just have to search five wait different for locations it. for the for the van? Because after this one, yeah, we have to then... Get the van. And then you yes. get the notification. Right, okay. The so after we've investigated this one, we have to find the killer's van. But, yeah, his, but his van spawns well, could spawn at five different locations, so it might not necessarily be at the first one you look at. Um, maybe we'll get lucky, maybe not. We might have to look in all five, but hopefully we can just find it first time. Uh, but without any let's further ado, let's get this investigated. As you can see, bloody handprint. That's all done, another five Gs in the bank. And now, we've got four out of five. Now we've got to find the uh, serial killer's van. Right guys, so for the fifth and final clue, like I said, there are five different locations that this van might spawn in. Uh, I am going to show you all five, um, but if I find it first time, obviously I find it first time. You might not be so lucky, it might spawn in one of the other locations. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this one first because it was the closest to the last location that I was in. This one's in Ratton Canyon. As you can see on the map, I'll scroll out a little bit so you can see exactly whereabouts it is. It's still on the left hand side of the map, pretty high up and um, it is down by the river. It is gonna be embedded in some trees if it is at this location. You can also see where me and Joshua are on the map at the moment. We are a little bit away from it, so we are gonna make our way down there slowly, and hopefully we're gonna find it first time. But like I said, if we do find it first time, I am still gonna show you where the other four locations are, you know, uh, because it might not, we might not even find it at this place. There's no guarantee. So without any further ado, we're gonna get down there and we're gonna see if it is in fact where we've marked it down on the map um, yeah so it is a little bit off track I don't know if this car's got anything to do with it I don't think it does no. doesn't know it doesn't there's does only it. meant to be a black van that you're looking for right so as we get out there should be well, if you're lucky enough anyway for it to be in this location there should be a black van around this area well do you see anything I can't see it so I can't help Maybe like down here somewhere. Yeah, it should have been around, around this area. I don't think it's here. Yeah, I can't see anything. No, it's not that Hummer across the lake, is it? No. No, so I don't think we've hit Lucky on the first try. We're gonna have to try the other locations, anyways. Um, and lucky to me, I'm smart. But in this location this location that we're in at the moment, I'll show you again on the map. This is where it should be around this area in Ratton Canyon. Um, but like I said, I haven't been as lucky to find it first time. Um, but you guys may be. So um, anyway, we're now going to move on to the next location. So I'll see you when I get there. Right guys, so location number two for the van that we're going to try is at Brad Dock Pass. Um, as you can see on the map, it is on the other side of where we just was, but still very much to the top end of the map. Um, it is just train. off the train track. Oh my God, train, I was train, on a train, train track. Train. <laughs> uh, right, so we just hover here for a minute. 
Right, Joshua said it was on a dirt track, just off the train track, uh, to the right hand down side. That gap there. Yeah. What? Down so, that if, gap there. so if we drop. Ooh. Sure, but. Where, where, where? What? So we. We're going the other side of the train. Right, so we're going across the other side. Uh, down there, down there, down that gap there. Down that gap behind us, Dad. Oh, I see. What, where these wooden, wooden bits are? Yeah. Yes. So it's not there then? Is it, is it usually sat nope. here, is it? Yes, usually uh, right here. Right, so we can see now location number two for the van. The van is not here, so we are going to have to press on uh, to the third location, and hopefully we're going to find it in the third location. Right, guys, so location number three is back down near Sandy Shores. It is a road underneath the highway. As you can see on the map, it is next to the prison, um, it's not far away from the prison at all so as we back out of here it should be just down I'm here gonna, under the highway the to the left uh, it's to, on the other side, it's on the other side on the other side of the track yeah it should be um pretty sure it's One near yeah. These. Uh, uh, yeah over there what near these pipes here yes well, sure. So we have definitely struck out again then by the sounds of it. Right guys, here we go. Uh, location number four is Pamela Taylor Power Station. So it's only a little bit a little bit of the way down from where we just was. It's not too far at all. Maybe a couple of miles. It'll be super quick if you're on an Opressor or in um, a Deluxo or a Buzzard or something like that. Like I said, it is off-road. It's just um, off to the right-hand side of this train track. Ah, yes, next to these. The next to these. Yeah, so, so it should if be next to these. Guys. Right, so we're going to jump out. Joshua's going to lead the way and show us where it should be. Follow the glowing shoe person. Should be down here. Down in this gap here. No, it is not here. Okay. So, we're struck out for the fourth time. What are the chances, man? Hopefully, we do find it in this fifth location. Otherwise, um, I'm going to be a little bit concerned of, of what's going on. Maybe I'll have to leave the lobby and re-enter the lobby and try the five locations again. But um, hopefully we'll be five times lucky. Who knows? We're going to jump back into the into the Deluxo and move on to location number five. Right, guys. So lucky number five location, fingers crossed, is at Lago Zancudo. Hopefully we're going to find this bloody van at this location. Because if we don't, we have struck out completely and we'll have to go around again all them five locations and hopefully it's going to spawn but fingers crossed this is going to be the one as you can see as i pull out of the map it is just near fort sankudo which is here i'm a little bit annoyed with myself because the first location we visited for this van was just up here as you can see um so apologies for that if you've gone all the way around the map and ended up to this location when you could have just come across the fort sankudo and been at this location but nevertheless this is how it's turned out for me um yeah pretty simple to find hopefully this is going to be the place so as we come back in the deluxo we're going to make our way over to it apparently it is on a little island Literally, just in front exactly of us so right so exactly where the marker is placed joshua is saying that is where the van should be a bit more higher up but yes yeah, so i'm going to drop down here on the second island there. Oh. I saved it, mate. Somebody I saved it. No worries. Right, so it should be over here. Hopefully. 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 Come on, please be here. Please. I think it's here. I think it's here. I think it's here. Yep. Yes. We've got it. Thank God for that. So this is the van you're looking for. For me, it was in the fifth and final location of where this van might be. But it's done me a little bit of a favour. Because... Oh, I can hear screaming. And my controller's vibrating like a, you know what? Like a madman. Like a madman. There's a lot of like screaming, like ghostly screams going on as well. But yeah, like I was saying, yeah, luckily yeah, enough, we, we found it in the fifth and final location, which gave me the chance to show you all five locations, just in case you was as unlucky as I was and had to visit all five of them. But here we go. This is what it looks like inside with the, when you examine the clue. It looks like we've got some um, trash bags with uh, which may dead be bodies. or may not be dead bodies and some they will be. 
machetes and a couple of hooks lovely so we're now going to leave that fifth and final clue found another five g's in the bank and now we should get a text message from the killer there you go check messages. unknown so we're going to check the messages from unknown i'm sick you are say again I just, it, I just sent a bit of a quote of it. It says, like, you should be... I'm sick of, of you poking your nose into... Yeah, exactly what he, what he says. I'm sick of you sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Now I'm not going to... Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I'm sick of you sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Now I'm not going to lie. What happens next, you won't... Won't be nice for you. So he's blatantly threatening us. Uh, and now, we now we've got to wait... What is it? Seven, um, it's going to be 7pm or 5am that he shows up? Yeah. Yeah, and it's 2 night right now. And it is now 3. 3. So we're going to get to the location that we need to be in for him to show up and um, yeah. hopefully he shows up at five. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, right, so I'm here and th is that the serial killer? Is he coming after you? What? Shoot him. Is that the serial? That is the serial killer, isn't it? What's he coming Shoot after him. me for? He's spazzing out. What the hell? He's not. Oh, there we go. He wasn't dying. That was a bit of an anti-climax. <laughs> uh, slasher killed. So we've earned the Navy revolver. Got 50k and $23 off him as well. Off his uh, body. He dropped a machete too. That was a little bit earlier than I was expecting. I was expecting him to show up at 5. Um, that's why I got he here bang on like 4.30. And uh, as soon as I landed on the landing strip, he, he show up. Um, but oh, I'll quickly show you whereabouts it was. It is here. You know where you find the hand. The hand clue. This is where the slasher will spawn. Um, either at 7 p.m. or 5 a.m. Like I said, I, I landed here just before 5. And it's still not 5 now. And he just show up. And he didn't even come after me. He went after Joshua. Of all people. For whatever reason. And then I couldn't kill him straight away. He sort of like bugged out a little bit. Uh, so it was a little bit anticlimactic. But I don't think that's going to happen with everybody like that. It was just my game at the time that I'd done it. It just sort of like... Yeah, bugged out a little bit, but that's that. That's um, an easy got 50k. Uh, what we've we got, 75k now as well. I don't want the machete. Whoa! <laughs> I don't want the machete. You can have it if you really want it. Um, oh, but yeah, yeah easy 75k. Now we've got to get 50 kills with the revolver to um, mm -hmm. get another 200k. So sweet as an up. Right, guys. So as you can see, we are in first person mode, and you can see. The gun in all its glory. It does look pretty sweet to be fair. Very disturbing. But I've come to the beach of all places to get my kills. Because this is where I can think of the most people spawning. And that is insane. One shot kills. Uh, but I can't lock on to anybody anymore. But 50 kills is what we need to get 200k. So that's what we're about to do. Just take a look at the drip. You boys don't get flyer in this. Roll a dopey, I'm high as a bitch. Wait, it's lit. Get that little bitch a little tip. Now she wanna suck on the dick. She wanna catch all of the drip, drip, drip. Pull up and I'm loading the clip. New bitch here, stay on my hip. Niggas talking they not with this shit. Catch a body, you might just get hit. But lately been all about drip. New designer, just look at the fit. And I just blew a bag on my bitch. You got clout, but you don't got the drip. You get money, that's some type of myth. I can blind you, bitch, look at the wrist. For that bag, and I might take a risk. Don't get crushed, cause you care about a bitch. Pass the Henny, I'm trying to get lit. Trying to get out my body and shit. Fuck around and start body and shit. Remember nice when you were starving and shit. You my brother, I got you, that's it. We can never fall out by the bitch. We were swimming with sharks and them fish. In the field with them lions and pitch. Swear these niggas be lying and shit. Talking money, don't buy their own shit. Baby mothers be buying them shit. You not lit, you depend on the bitch. Swear to God, man, I'm clever as shit. Still can trap any weather I'm in. Throw me work and I'm making it flip. What a whippy, you might just get sick. Throw me extra, you know we gon' win. Getting money, I've been doing this. Since a young and I've been had to drip. Make a movie, not talking a clip. It's lit. Oh, there's a few more. I should be able to get him now. Hey, there we go. 200k. Sweet as a nut. So that's our 50 kills done. And I'm just killing more civilians for fun. Uh, this gun is pretty pretty sweet. I say one shot kills for civilians, NPCs. Police, usually two shots. Uh, one shot, obviously, if you get them in the head. But SWAT, man, they're bastards to kill. It was... SWAT was probably taking maybe four shots to die. Two shots to the head is insane. Uh, but no, the gun's, the gun's pretty decent. You get 200k for getting 50 kills with it. 
Uh, you get 50k for killing the slasher. You get another 25k for finding all the clues. And if you're lucky with the van location, you could do this easy within half an hour. So it's an easy $275,000 mission. Uh, you know, basically, for half an hour of your time. And you get a pretty sweet gun to go with it. Um, so, I'm going to end the video right there. Thanks to my son Joshua for joining me on this uh, mission, we'll call it. A mission video. He helped me a lot with finding the locations for the um, for, for the clues. Uh, mainly, so, mainly for the van. Um, but nah, big help. Enjoy the gun. Uh, easy money. And uh, yeah. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, please smash that like button. I'll also link Joshua's channel down in the description below, so go and sub to him if you'd like to. Uh, but until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.